searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. If you like what you see, give me a like, maybe think about subscribing. As you can see, the hunters are attacking, and I went ahead and pumped up the gamma. I saw these guys coming across from this other base. Oh, long distance. Headshot. Always good. Always nice. Oh, he's taking two. He's not going to take. Oh, he moved. Saw that coming. And down. Where's that arrow? In the ceiling. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, it looks a little washed out. I'll get that taken care of in just a minute. Oh, get that arrow back. Thank you. What goodies did you bring me? Oh, not bad. Oh, with the gamma up. Man, these uh, things pop out of the water. Awesome. Free kelp. Oh, come on, get out of the water. Quit swimming, dude. There we go. Don't go swimming early in the morning. It's not good for you, kitties. So I passed the remainder of that day that we had left and all that night and it's just the sun's just coming up and as usual the hunters figure hey that's a good time to go hunt uh -huh. and bad time for you because I was ready and waiting yeah I looked out over I went, I went upstairs checked out my uh, crow's nest and I'm like wait a second I see movement oh they're coming to play <laughs> Well, I better start recording. I don't want to miss out the opportunity of defending my base. What is that? Sink. Okay. And... Yes, you actually did see me put those rounds in there. I have so many SVT rounds, it's not funny. And I'm not using those weapons, so... Basically, it's almost better to go ahead and get the mass out of them, if you ask me. But you didn't ask. I'm just telling you anyways. Alright. I think I can bring that gamma down. Sweet. Come on, cook. I need to get out. I need resources. I have used up most of my resources. As you can see, I've, I've burned through most of my stuff. I've got all the power that I need. I need one more mass storage unit, and I'll have everything that I need to upgrade and make BCU crackers. I will be making BCU crackers very soon. 303,000. I had a generator going. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. My house is almost self-sufficient, and I say that as I went ahead and upgraded my refinery for a power efficiency. And I can run that during the day and I won't be losing any power. What are the animals doing? Level 9. I think the rabbit's also level 9. You guys are just about that. I went ahead and grabbed a couple extra chickens. And brought them in because those two are about to hit level 10. And if they hit level 10, they're going to get cooked. Sorry, but that's what's going to happen. I might as well go grab the stuff on their fire. I want to check out that base. I want to see if that's a rogue base or did I get lucky and get an early spawn on my next hunter base. Oh, when these caves came across, they came down to the edge of the water to that rock and then swam across, which made it really easy to pinpoint that they were coming in. So having that base over there, that's primo. Let's see, grab some kelp if I see any. I see two on the screen. Let me grab some air real quick. Don't need to drown. Kelp one. Grab this, but I'm probably going to get a ding of your drowning. We'll see. Oh, just made it. Awesome. I want to see what they're based... I'm assuming they're probably... I could see a wall, so I'm going to think they have... A wall and a staircase. Probably not a BCU yet. But I could be wrong. 
when they're rebuilding up their re ah okay wall and staircase but no bcu all right so i was right once again stairs that you have to jump to get on i've seen that a lot with the hunters recently where they're building at least on this world so far all their stairs are you kind of have to hitch your way up rogue hunters no shirts well you know what we have to do to rogue hunters don't you we have to go over and say howdy y'all welcome to the neighborhood and because they're right below that rock i am going to come up along the fence line and use the rock as my main attack vector but i'm going to grab supplies from their little peninsula over here might as well why do I feel like I'm missing something? Oh, there it is. Could have sworn I saw more scrap metal, and I did. I did see more scrap metal. I did see a putty tat. Now that copper right there is impossible to get. You could possibly build a foundation drop down to it and then mine it but unless I've seen a lot of ores popping in that same area it's not worth it I mean I used to do that I'd go out find spots where the uh, the ores can populate on the side of rocks and put a foundation and a staircase so I could get up to it and yeah it gets you some ore but it wasn't enough to justify using the supplies and the time to run over there and get it all the time. Oh, let me show you the back. As I said, I was worked on that last night. I heard you. Just in time to see hunters going to my place to attack. Now these are regular hunters from the other base. That other on the other side. Ah, I missed his head. He doesn't have a helmet, so. Where are you? Got a hit, but not a head shot. Come on, somebody throw a grenade down there. I love when they throw a grenade down there because they uh, typically hit themselves. Come on, step out. Yeah, do the, do the tree dance. The dance of the tree. Bow, move, because that's almost always a hit. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, and a free arrow. You guys are the best. Well, that's two attacks out of the way for the day. Am I going to get another one? I'm going to use a bandage real quick. I don't have to go anywhere for loot, guys. I just got to sit here and let the hunters come to me. It's loot. Okay, tree uh, box stuff stuck up in a tree. Any... No, it doesn't look like I'm getting any arrows back. Speaking of arrows... Okay, I've got 23. I'm good. Alright. Because I was so rudely interrupted, let's get back to what I was looking at. So I finish this wall off, and it goes all the way to the rock. And then I finish this wall off. So this is a cavity. I don't know what I would use it for yet, but it is usable. And the only thing I want to add now is railings here and here. I can't put railings across the stairs, or I would. Uh. Alright, well, let's go mess with rogue hunters. I don't think they're going to attack. They moved their base, so they shouldn't be coded to attack me today.
And this is like, what, four, five days in a row now that I'm, I always have rogue hunters on this little peninsula over here, which, you know, convenient, interesting, but that's a lot of coincidence. It's a co co uh, coincidence. I can't speak today. Let's be honest, I can't speak any day, but it's worse today. But yeah, always, always on this side, rogue hunters, and I don't know why. All right, so second rock, and that's the rock I'll be using to attack them from. Our third rock, excuse me, third rock. Third rock from the sun. I'm pretty sure. I mean, worst case scenario, I can drag them to this rock. And, oh, nope, there's the bear. This is the rock I'll be attacking from. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I missed the head. Got it that time, though. Headshot. Double headshot. Now, if I had a premium arrow, I think that headshot would be an instant kill. Ooh, bear. Scoot the edge. Oh, wooden board. I love when the rogue hunters give me wood. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, make all the jokes you want, but let's be honest, I kill rogue hunters and they give me logs and points. You can't deny it, it's awesome. Eh, might as well. What's my food situation? Eat, eat, split, eat all. So I'm gonna need some steaks anyways. Come here, come here. Good boy. Still wish Cole Games would code it so you could get your, you have a chance of getting arrows back. That's the one thing I'm really hoping this update. That for me, that would be uh, bug fixes, the performance updates that he's been talking about, and the ability to occasionally get arrows back when you're shooting animals. If you want to say that we're if we're hitting the humans, we're not going to get it back, I'll accept that. But in the animals, we should have a, you know, good chance with rabbits and chickens, a small chance with bears, wolves, and cougars, and minimal to no chance in humans. I don't know. I think that would be fair-ish. I'm just saying that because I like using bow and arrow and it's expensive in fact I'll go ahead and make an arrow real quick or a set of arrows I mean that's what my day spent you know go out shoot everybody in the head if I'm lucky and then take all their loot and go back and make more arrows I can't hit, can't, you can't blame me. I like the bow. All right, you need to come with me and you need to come with me. The rabbit looks so cute in your inventory. Oh, wait a second. What do I get from the rabbit? Uh, two reared meat, three cloth, three fat. It's not a lot. Chicken gives you a lot more in my opinion. Premium chicken, five feathers, seven premium feathers, and six fat. So yeah, rabbits, I mean, nah, not worth it in, in my opinion. Until, and if they were to drop, I don't know how they drop padded cloth though. That makes no sense. But what they drop really doesn't make it worth it for hunting them. Or raising them, I should say. Hunting, yes. Raising, no. Let's go ahead and cook this stuff up real quick. Grab 
brick. Did I put the fat away? Okay, so I said, either I put the fat away or I didn't get any fat. I don't think that. Ready mass. Gotta love the, I call the extra mass. Speaking of mass, I have what I need. And planks. This will be the last storage unit, and then I can decide how I want to place the storage unit. Get a, a final placement on those. I can make more, but there's really no reason. There's no need to go more power uh, storage, but it's nothing that stops you from doing it. It's just, it's. I guess if you want to, you know, have five thousand power to play with, and I guess that could be useful. But there's nothing you need to create that requires that much. One, two, three, four, five. So five storage, five power storages, and three mass storages, and should be a range you need. Let me check real quick. The uh, BCU cracker is the most expensive. Yeah, four hundred mass, three thousand power. I could see having uh, an extra two power storages, so you could go over 3,000, so when you used it, you'd have something left over. But I need to get some electric components if I actually want to uh, make and use one of those. And I will be using one on the first hunter base that spawned back in, because currently it's a small hunter base, and I'd like to force them to build a larger hunter base. I won't be using that until the third hunter base is actually in the world. I don't want to mess with anything. I want to make sure all the other hunters are in place. Yeah, that stuff went quick. Split. What happens? you have four animals in there? Really, you want all my apples to get happy? Ugh. You know those don't crow on trees, right? At least not in this game. Subtle hint. Subtle hint. I'll just take them all with me. All right, let's get going. We need to get some supplies. And, you know, if I find any more rogue hunters, that would be nice, too. We'll go check our usual hunts right up over there. Then we'll cross over to the regular hunter base that uh, we know about. I think it's going to be another three or four-ish days before that last hunter base comes in. If I have the supplies available, if I can get more electrical components, I'll probably be making a BCU cracker. And sometime late next week, probably for next Saturday's softcore video, we'll go ahead and actually use that BCU cracker. It'll be only the second time that I've done that. First time was in testing just to see how it worked. I don't come over here enough. I'd forgotten to even push back the fence over here. Nah, I don't need to waste any supplies on you. You're good. I'll leave you alone. Yes, I can kill you with two arrows, but... Not what I'm looking for. Whoa! I mean, just seriously. No crates whatsoever. I mean, yesterday, the, the last between episodes... Oh my god. I mean, I logged off with a full inventory. And I spent most of that day, the remainder of that day, around the base just working and stuff. And I was still getting crate after crate after crate. It was crate-tastic. Now, I guess, you know, feast and famine. Yesterday I feast, today's a famine. All right. Anytime it's this dry, I turn around and I head back the way I came. Because stuff will spawn behind you in this game. 
I have proven that more than once. No, I was, I was like, the, I was looking at that fern over there. Okay, is that a box? And no, it's not. It's just a fern. I mean, seriously, feast or famine, and I am definitely in a dry spell. Holy. I mean, I appreciate the fiber and the medical plants, but. Give me some loot boxes, damn it. And I know Cold Games is planning on eventually getting rid of the loot boxes completely. Uh, I like the loot boxes. Gives you something to go after when you're out in the world. You know what I'm saying? When you're out running around. Granted, you're not, like I said, you're not going to find a golden uh, bow in it or anything like that. But just the fact that you get some resources. It's a, it's a little lottery type thing in the game. One, get lucky to find the boxes, and two, hoping what you're gonna get in the boxes. I mean, I love a loot box that comes with a bandage, because that's two cloth. Wow, seriously, nothing. I mean, if I wasn't recording already, I would. All right, this is a good time to show you guys. I am going to pause the video for a second go out i'm going to validate the files just logging off and logging back on we'll try that first let's do that might as well do a little bit of testing so one second all right so i didn't validate anything i just went ahead and did a save exit and then i reloaded the world again let's see if there's anything around there's some crates over there because that usually if I'm really seriously dry like I was the last five or ten minutes if I just uh, save an exit and reload crates seem to start popping in and what it's not that there's a problem with the game what probably happened is all the crates have populated around me I went and dealt with hunters and then there's only about an 18 minute time frame and then stuff starts despawning. And so it's despawned already. And the stuff that's in the world is not anywhere near me. It's like on the other side of the world. On the other side of the map. So I'm not finding them. Ooh, look at all those. See, look at all those, those crates up there. There we go. So if you've been playing for 18 minutes or more. And you're like, you can't seem to find anything. Log out, log back in. Sometimes that helps. It'll reset the crates around in your area. And it'll give you spawn. And then go to the other side of the map. And hopefully by the time you get there, there'll still be stuff over there. But I have done testing. Crates last about 18 minutes. And I don't care what Bloodstalker says. Looking at a crate does not make it stay in the world. I have tested that. I have an entire video on nothing but... How long a loot box will will last and if it'll disappear while you're looking at it and yes yes it will I I do think there's like a momentary pause where if you are looking at it it's not gonna disappear immediately but I have it on film where just looking at it it goes poof I mean you guys have all been there trying to mine an ore and, and you're actually actively mining it and the ore goes poof so if an ore can go poof, so can a box. Speaking of ore, give me some iron. Oh, double iron spawn, that's nice. I'm actually running low on iron ore. I mean, I've got a lot of refined iron. What, nearly what, over 300 and something? But raw iron. I'm actually getting a little low on it, and I'd like to keep a, a stack. Alright, anything else over here? Oh, Rogue Hunters! Hi, guys! Almost missed you standing next to that tree. Let's grab a bit of iron again. 
And how convenient you guys set up right near a rock. Kind of like you knew I was coming and you were thinking of me when you set up your camp. I appreciate that. Oh, he ducked. Headshot. Just one? Nope, here comes scent number two. Oh, I can't get on the right. Ah, shot a little too high that time. Take the hit, you're dead. You're behind me, aren't you? Nope, he's on this side. All right, I'm gonna let him move. Done and dusted. Oh yes, planks. Wood, give me wood. Planks, all right. What do you got? Where's your box, buddy? Okay, there it is. Just hidden by the bush. Okay, cloth, and I appreciate the cloth. I replaced the bandage. I use today. Go ahead and eat some stuff. Split. Eat all. Let's grab their ash. Alright, guys and gals, my time is up. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my softcore playthrough. If you guys have liked what you've seen, leave me a like. Maybe think about think about it subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.